Okay, what I'd like to show you is my recommendation for installing and removing a muzzle brake that I install for my customers here at Montour County Rifles. I have here a barrel that I just threaded and a mini magnum muscle brake. Um, what I have on here is some copper based anti-seize on the threads and inside the threads of the muzzle brake. A uh, little goes a long way, so put some on the threads of the barrel, some in the threads of the brake. Thread it on, thread it off, clean up the excess, anything around the shoulder or the crown and inside the brake there, any excess. But what I do is I thread it on. Go till it just stops. You're going to back it off about a half a turn. And then using the same method you would to snap your fingers, you're going to do the same thing to do the muzzle brake to tighten it on there. You don't need to grab a hold of it and wrench it on. You don't need to put anything through the ports to use as a T-handle to tighten it. This will tighten it and it will not come loose. It is also very difficult to get off by hand. Um, and I'll show you in a second how to get it off. But I call this ringing the muzzle brake and you'll hear why in a second. So you go till it's tight. You back it off a half a turn, snap your fingers, you hear the ringing sound that it made. That brake is not easily coming off by hand at all. Uh, this way you can take your muzzle brake on and off. It's a lot easier to clean with your brake off so you can clean the crown and the threads and replace the anti-seize. To remove it, what I recommend is two popsicle sticks. Go through the first port, use it as a T-handle. As you can see, I'm even having trouble getting it off. I broke the popsicle sticks, but I did get it loose. And it'll come right off for ease of cleaning. 